I do think it's it's right to make sure that our welfare system is supporting those who need it the most. So there's so many things to talk about with this announcement from Rishi Sunak at the end of last week. In the way that we intended it to. And you just have to look at the numbers. You know, over half of all the people who joined that group of the economically inactive last year uh, were citing mental health or anxiety as the main reason. So why is that? Of course, the pandemic will be used as a reason, but I believe this is the end result of living within a capitalist society. This is not about costs, right? Uh, as I said at the beginning, you know, if you just cared about costs, you can just freeze benefits. This is about recognising how central and important work is to people's lives. Perhaps it was once, but with the advent of AI and the automation of workplaces, what kind of jobs is he talking about? Working for Deliveroo? Included in his plan, stripping GPs of their power to sign people off work and stripping benefits entirely for those still out of work after 12 months if they're not complying with conditions on accepting available work. Anyway, here's some lyrics from Pulp, penned by Jarvis Cocker, and I think they allude to an element of what we're seeing develop in front of us. Oh, and I could be a genius if I just put my mind to it, and I... I could do anything if only I could get round to it. Oh, we were brought up on the space race. Now they expect us to clean toilets. When you've seen how big the world is, how can you make do with this? If you want me, I'll be sleeping in. Sleeping in throughout these glory days. Now, of course, we want to get people the support and the treatment they need. So the song talks about being brought up on the space race and how they expect you to clean toilets. I believe it's much more extreme than that. Since the advent of advertising, capitalism has wormed its way into our dreams and desires. L'air du temps, the romantic perfume, Nina Ricci, Paris. But boosted by social media, it highlights the divide between the have and the have not. Number eight, Emma Chamberlain. Since filming YouTube videos in her mother's house, Emma Chamberlain dropped out of high school, amassed 27.9 million followers, and turned her dry humor and penchant for fashion into an empire. But also, those who present themselves well, the charismatic, fun, outgoing people. For a lot of us, this is all an act, playing out life in front of the camera. And I think it was also burnout of just kind of four years of mm -hmm. doing that every day, posting three to four grid posts a day, mm -hmm. you know, 10 to 15 stories a day. Wow. You know, and I was doing that all myself. Um, and um, just, I think, the paranoia and mm. realizing, looking around and looking at other people, and I was like, I've lost the ability to talk to someone in yeah. person because yeah. I'm living on this yeah. phone. For many, the wealth, success, and looking attractive are all out of reach. It's just too distant. I believe we're seeing a systematic shutting down of people's wish to be involved, to be part of society, because they can't see the point. It's not laziness, it's depression. And yet Sunak thinks work is the answer. Uh, but I do think it's right that the welfare system doesn't over medicalize you know, the everyday challenges and worries of life, especially because I believe very strongly in the evidence support work is good for people's mental health. Well, we'll get into that in another video. Click here for Sunak and swimming pools.